Hey ho und willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Genshin Impact WM 21 zu 9 und in der letzten Episode haben wir angefangen den neuen Legendenauftrag zu machen bezüglich eines Flüchtigen und ja, wenn ihr mal sehen wollt oder ja, wir haben ja ein bisschen über diese Person was erfahren einfach oben rechts auf das E-Symbol klicken hier auf YouTube, dann kommt ihr nämlich auf die Playlist und könnt euch nochmal das anschauen, was die Leute so über den berichtet haben denn der scheint ja kein böser Oni zu sein. Dieser hier, diese chinesischen Dämonen da. Oni, ja, irgendwie sowas. Und ja, es gibt durchaus trotzdem Motive, weswegen der halt, naja, verhaftet werden soll. Aber gut, ich will nicht zu viel spoilern. Ihr sollt selber gucken. Wir haben auch seine mögliche Schwachstelle ja, erfahren. Und die ist ein bisschen merkwürdig. Ähm... Stimmt, das haben wir halt auch erfahren. Ja. Mein Kopf schmerzt stark, besonders nachts. Ich habe das Gefühl, dass mein Kopf explodieren wird. Einige unserer Teammitglieder haben angefangen, Blut zu husten und haben jede Nacht Albträume. Ich habe Ausschlag auf meiner Haut entwickelt und meine Brust fühlt sich innen juckend und feucht an. Wir müssen den Kl äh, Clanoberhaupt berichten, dass diese Tara... Warte dass diese Tatarigami kein bloßes Gerücht sind. Der Schädel des großen Schlangengottes starrt mich grimmig an. Sein erbärmlicher Geist hegt noch immer Hass gegen das Volk der Sieger. Ich muss so schnell wie möglich von hier verschwinden, oder die Konsequenzen werden schwer vor vorstellbar sein. Wir werden uns nach Norden wenden und zum Dorf Hige gehen. Von der Klippe des Hige-Dorfes können wir vielleicht die Aktivitäten der Piraten... Ich sag das bestimmt schon seit 20 Folgen gefühlt, dass er dieses Autoplay nicht deaktiviert, wenn man eine neue Message hat. Jetzt weiß ich schon wieder nicht, was da stand, ey. Äh, okay. Ich muss mich an die gesprochene Anweisung des Clanchefs erinnern. Wir haben keine Zeit zu verlieren. Wenn wir Flüchtlinge und kranke Menschen sehen, dürfen wir keine Gnaden walten lassen. Locke sie an den Pier und versenke ihr Boot auf halber Strecke. Sollte jemand fragen, müssen wir ihnen sagen, dass es von den Rebellen getan wurde. Wir dürfen nicht zulassen, dass die Tatarigami die Herrschaft des Bakufu stören. Egal was passiert. Hätte ja sein können, dass das vielleicht ein Hinweis wäre. Wo oh, sind Fußspuren? Ach, da. Äh. Da unten? Ich wollte gerade sagen, ey. Irgendwie ein bisschen verbuggt an diese Stelle. Äh, müssen wir denn rechts? Ja, wir müssen rechts runter. Verfolgen wir die Spur weiter. Halte ihr gedrückt, um zu zielen und Boden zu werfen. Gott, ey. Ja. Ja. Wird er fast vom Blitz erschlagen. Ah. Das ist blöd hier, die Steuerung. Don't don't be alarmed. It's just my uh, uh my allergies acting up. I've got it under control. It's all right. I got this. I just 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 just, just gotta tough it out. <laughs> just, I I can take it. I can take it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I gotta catch my breath here. Whatever it is you want, it's gonna have to wait. I need a moment. In a moment. 
<sighs> Woo, that's that's better. That sure took a lot out of me, though. <laughs> hey, why'd you have to be so mean, huh? Surprise attacking me like that. Äh, mit Übeltäter kann man nicht vorsichtig genug sein oder reg dich ab, sonst können wir natürlich die Bohnen nochmal einsetzen. Boah, ist das gemein. <lacht> ich würde das erste anklicken. Oh, I get it. So you're here to bring me in. How in the world did you find me all the way out here? <lacht> well, whatever. If you think I'm going back with you, you can forget it. I'd walk away if I were you. I pack a mean punch, you know. I don't want to hurt any regular folks like you. That's pretty big cat considering all the beans we have. Der Blick von ihr gerade richtig cool, so dieses von wegen gar nicht beeindruckt und du laberst zu viel, so nach dem Prinzip. <lacht> äh, die Raubüberfälle und Entführungen, all das hast du gemacht, nicht wahr? Yep, that's right. Me, all by myself. Nobody else. As boss of the Arataki gang, I gotta nab a little food and drink when we're running low. That's only natural, right? Yeah, but nabbing people? That's taking it a bit far, don't you think? Uh, not when their families will pay good mora to see them again. Easy pickings. And the extra mora means I can, uh, uh, give some to my gang to spend on themselves. <laughs> naja, wenigstens bist du jetzt ziemlich ehrlich. Hey, what's with all the questions? Like I said, I'm not going back with you, so stop wasting everybody's time. Hey, mister, we've accepted a commission to bring you back. What did you say, little one? Go on, say it to my face. Uh, well, mostly she took a commission to bring you back. Do. <laughs> Looks like you aren't gonna let this drop. In that case, we. Uncle Ito! <laughs> Don't run now. Careful, or you'll fall. What's taking you so long? You said we were gonna have a beetle fight today. Come on, you promised. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Still going ahead. But y but you see, uh, I I've been out here for ages, and I still can't find a beetle that I like. So, just give Uncle Ito a little more time, okay? Huh? Who are they? Are they your friends? Uh, yeah, that's right. I told them not to come, but. What can I say? They were just too worried about me. <laughs> It's because of a little thing called uh, prestige. Yeah, because of all the prestige Uncle Ito has. Huh? What are you talking about? We. Shh, shh, up, up, up. Come on, just play along. Leave the kid out of this. Uh, Uncle Ito, you don't look so good. You look like you're about to fall over. <laughs> That's because Uncle Ito bumped his noggin on a tree branch while looking for a beetle. Uh oh. <laughs> It's all good though. These horns are rock solid. Okay. If you say so. Granny and I will keep heading back now. Don't be too long. Uh, yep. I'll be right there. Hope you're ready to lose today. Who were those people? The old lady was Granny Oni. She's the one who took me in and raised me. And the kid's name is Daisuke. I, I took him in just a while back. They're both like family to me. They escaped with me out this way, along with my boys from the Arataki gang. If I didn't bring them with me, the Tenryo Commission would be knocking on their doors for sure. Ich wusste nicht, dass du so fürsorglich zu den anderen bist. Right. But if you care about them so much, then you shouldn't have done all that stuff that made them worry about you in the first place. I... Uh... uh Listen, how about we make a deal? You two let me go wrap things up with Daisuke, and once we're done battling Beatles, the two of us will settle things with a duel. If you win, I'll come quietly. You can take me back to Inazuma City, and you won't hear a peep out of me. Why? Because I'm an Oni of my word. I'll just tell little Daisuke that my friends and I need to step outside for a moment. That way you won't worry. Cool? Hmm. What should we do? There is the kid to consider. Ah, das ist ein bisschen problematisch. Der könnte auch so trotzdem trickreich sein, aber äh, ich glaube nicht, dass er so drauf ist. Ihr könnt ja in den Kommentaren schreiben, was ich angeklickt hätte. Da ich, da, ich denke, ich bin einverstanden damit. Oh, it's on! I like your style. 
All right, but first things first. I need to find an Onikabuto to battle with. I've been looking here for ages and haven't found myself a winner yet, so it's time to try somewhere else. Come with me. Saves you worrying that I might skedaddle. Jetzt gehört ähm, da oben. Müssen wir wieder zurück zu diesem Haus da, was wir eben gesehen haben. So. Zack, 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 zack. You guys have seen Oni Kabuto out in the wild, right? Even though they might look menacing on the outside, they're big softies on the inside. Most of the time they're just sitting there doing nothing. But let me tell ya, once the Oni Kabuto start fighting, ho ho ho, they won't let anything get in their way. The grand game of beetle fighting is a match where your beetle tries to flip the other beetle onto its back. Ich habe es auch mal gespielt, als ich klein war, oder ich habe es auch mal zugeschaut, als ich klein war. Beides nicht sehr beruhigend. Ich klicke mal das zweite an. Hey, it's not just some kids game, okay? There's way more to it than that. I have taken part in more beetle fights than you would believe. At least 800. I may have even crossed the thousand mark by this point. Anyway, after a while, you can tell a beetle's fighting potential just by looking at its shape, size, and the patterns on its body. But it's not just about all the physical stuff. Oh no, your Oni Kabuto's got to be in the right head space as well. If it's not up for a fight or doesn't have the guts, well, then it's game over. <laughs> Boy, are you too lucky you ran into me. When it comes to beetles, I'm the expert that the experts go to. I'll show you all you need to know. But we're not the ones that will be playing. We're just here to keep an eye on you. Oh, yeah. Anyway, not a problem. You two might think I'm just tooting my own horns here, but just you wait. I'll make you a beetle expert in no time. And by the way, that kid has one tough beetle. We can't underestimate it. We have to find a real lean, mean beetle warrior. Okay, so he's not the sharpest horn on the Oni. Okay, let me see. Mm. Ah, there. Let's head to that hill. I'll bet my bottom mora we're gonna find some major league Oni Kabuto hiding out there. God, der ist irgendwie so wie ein großes Kind, so in gewisser Weise. Ähm, meinte oben? Ja. Uh oh, lightning storm! Und? <lacht> Just our luck. Well, hopefully that'll scare all the wind. Oh, darn it, they're all gone. Let's hop down from here and take a look. My gut's telling me that there's a king-sized beetle just below. Beefy beetle king, here we come! Okay. Oh, look! You see all those purple things? It's a whole pile of Oni Kabuto! Oh, oh. Now that's what I'm talking about! Nee, irgendwie nicht. Huh? Oh, what the... Ah, oh, no! Not lavender melons! Ah. <clears throat> well... Even a pro like myself can make a mistake from time to time. It's okay, just gotta roll with the punches. Let's try somewhere else. Good. Zack, kann man ja auch zerstören, währenddessen wir hier sind. Zack. Äh, auf den Baum vielleicht. Ach, hier sind auch noch weitere Bäume. Die waren auch immer auf den Bäumen rumklettern, meines Wissens nach. More speed. Uh, or da. This is the one. This is the one. <laughs> See? As long as you're in my company, you're guaranteed to find yourself an Oni Kabuto. Uh, bisschen klein, findest du nicht? Yeah, it's on the smaller side. But uh, size isn't everything in a beetle fight. Das hast du vorher nicht so gesagt. Just let the expert explain, okay? What smaller beetles lack in strength, they make up for in agility. They usually got a whole bunch of sick moves just ready to whip out when the right moment comes. Aber er sieht nicht, äh, aber er sieht auch nicht so aus, als ob er viel Energie hätte. Listen, you can never see a beetle's true energy until it's in the ring. It might look a bit young and docile, but that's got its advantages. Haven't you ever heard the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Young beetles that have never fought before always go all out in their first fight. 
Older Beatles that have already been through the wars tend to just cower in the corner the moment they see a strong opponent. Hat er eben nicht was anderes gesagt, dass er direkt beim Anblick des Körpers und so sofort weiß, wie die drauf sind? Jetzt sagt er irgendwie was anderes. Naja. Ich hatte mit größeren Käfer gerechnet. Hey, didn't I say not to worry? Come on, just have a little faith, would ya? My experience is telling me that this Oni Kabuto was spawned to be a champion. Äh, wo ist denn Paimon? some experience catching beetles too, huh? Nope. This is the first one Paimon's ever caught. Well, looks like you got a real knack for this. You'll be a fellow beetle fighting expert in no time. I mean, not as good as me, but, <laughs> but still. Oh, so overall not that good then. Uh, anyway, great. With both your beetle and mine, I can tell this will finally be the one. This time, I'm gonna win for sure. Diesmal hast du überhaupt schon einmal gewonnen? Well, uh, you know, that's that's just life, man. There are so many people in this world who are talented, uh, passionate, but it's no guarantee that things will go their way. So many unrelated things have to come together at once in just the right way to make victory happen. Uh, there's this word that really sums it up nicely, actually. It's a uh, coincidence. As in pure luck? Huh. Guess it makes no difference whether we have Paimon's beetle or not then. Might as well just... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> let's, let's not do anything rash here, you know. Sagt man nicht, dass der geschickte Typ überraschend ist? Oder heißt es nicht, dass der Blinde keine Angst vor Schlangen hat? Äh, eigentlich, ne? Beides können wir anklicken. Ich nehme das zweite, aber... I think both of these fine beetles have a shot at winning. Let's just hang on to them and give them both a try. A true warrior never leaves a good beetle behind. <laughs> anyway, uh, time to head back and get this show started. Man, I am psyched for this. Woo, let's go! Oh Gott, ey. Gut, dann bin ich jetzt mal gespannt, wie das ablaufen wird. Bestimmt wird es langweilig, in gewisser Weise, oder nichts passiert oder sonst was. Ich kann es mir irgendwie nicht vorstellen gerade, aber... Naja, man weiß ja nie. Äh, wo ist das Ding? Wo muss ich denn hin? Da oben ist der Junge, okay. Genau. Da bin ich jetzt mal gespannt. Finally, you're back! Can we start our beetle fight now? Yeah, sure thing, buddy. But you better watch out. I brought a real winner back this time. Don't worry. I'm not scared of your beetle. Go, go, stripey ghost! I've got this fight in the bag. Let's go, nimble ninja! Huh? When did you come up with that name? Come on, you can take him, little guy! In a row. Ich kann nicht glauben, dass er schon so oft verloren hat, oder? Es scheint, dass Ogura Mio mich nicht angelogen hat. Ja, das ist eigentlich wirklich so. <lacht> Stripey Ghost is invincible. Even Uncle Ido can't beat him. I won't forget this. I'll beat you next time. I swear. All right, Paimon, you're up. Time to give Crimson Cyclone a shot. Maybe it'll end this losing streak of mine. Hast du den Namen so einfach akzeptiert? Wow, that one 
looks ultra strong. But it's still no match for you, Stripey. <laughs> All right, little guy. Use your super Paimon tornado! Wo gibt's denn sowas, Paimon? <laughs> That one put up a fight. Woo! It wiped the floor with Stripey Ghost. <laughs> I know a real beetle trainer when I see one. Way to kick some beetle butt, partner. <laughs> see? Paimon's got real talent. Of course, Crimson Cyclone has to take some of the credit, too. Wie wär's, wenn wir Daisuke ihn schenken? Oh, right. Yeah. Now that the beetle fighting's over and all. Mm hmm? For you, Daisuke. Huh? For me? You're really giving it to me? Go ahead, take it, Daisuke. When we finally get back to the city, you can show it off to all your friends. But will we ever be able to go back? Of course we will. Trust me. I never go back on my word. Anyway, I got some things I gotta discuss with my friends here. I'll go play with Granny for a while, would ya? <laughs> There's a good boy. Good. The kid doesn't suspect a thing. You're from the Tinryo Commission, aren't you? I bet you're here to capture Uncle Ito. Huh? Hey, didn't I tell you? They're my friends. Uh, in fact, they're they're in the gang. <laughs> We're practically family. That's not true. I already know everyone in your little gang, but I've never seen these two before. Uncle Ito didn't do anything wrong. Don't take him away. And not only did he not do anything wrong, he also saved my life. He's not a bad guy. Was ist hier los? Hey, uh, some things we don't tell to outsiders, remember? Uh, how should I explain? I'm a real lousy liar. Ito, sometimes you need to just say what you have to say. Uh, don't worry about us. <sighs> I guess. Thanks, Granny. Seems I can't hide it anymore. Come with me. I'll explain everything. I'll be honest with you. This thing the Tenryo Commission is investigating, with someone going around taking people and their possessions, it wasn't me. Any of it. I have my own reasons for lying about it. And I really didn't want to get innocent people caught up in this while I'm still trying to solve the real problem here. I'm the same as you. I just want to avoid conflict at all costs. But it's just not worth it if someone gets hurt. So why in the world would you say that you were the culprit? <sighs> Maybe you don't know because you're outlanders, but... It all started a long, long time ago. With the story of the Crimson Oni and the Blue Oni. A second. If you're talking about that fairy tale, we've heard that one already. Oh, so you already know. Well, that makes things a whole lot easier. So, is the story from the fairy tale really true? Everything about the fate of the Oni is true. The blue Oni chose exile, and the crimson Oni stayed behind. But the other details aren't historically accurate. Fairy tales are nice stories, but there's something they leave out. It's a little thing called the cold hard truth. The Inazuma of long ago was a dangerous place. If you wanted the Raiden Shogun's protection, you had to have a good relationship with the humans. The Oni are a proud kind, so it wasn't easy for them to ask others for acceptance. Over time, the Oni eventually split into two factions. The Crimson Oni were friendly with the humans, but the Blue Oni? They were more stubborn and insisted on keeping to their own. You are two different species. So really, you're all one family? Yep, that's right. There's no real difference between us. We just paint our horns different colors to show which side we belong to. Warum muss ich der blaue Oni opfern? Because humans were still wary of Oni at the time. The Crimson Oni always hoped to find a way to live in peace with the humans, but the blue Oni kept clashing with them. 
Humans didn't see a difference between Crimson and Blue Oni. All they knew was that Oni were hard to get along with. If things were to continue that way, the Oni were never going to get along with humans. And so, the most revered leaders of the Crimson and Blue Oni decided to resolve it once and for all. Over drinks, they swore an oath. The Blue Oni would play the role of Evil Oni to help the Crimson Oni integrate into human society. But the Blue Oni's leader gave two conditions. First, the Oni must abandon any prejudice they held against humanity. Every Oni was to accept humans in their heart before the humans accepted them. Oni were not to use their strength to mistreat humans, but were also not to stand for mistreatment against themselves. Second, the Crimson Oni were to integrate with human society, but not by trying to please the humans. The Oni were to embrace their own honest characters, their surging tempers, and their awesome strength to win respect from the humans. In other words, they were to carry on the Oni bloodline while also protecting our Oni pride. Ach so. After choosing exile, the number of blue Oni began to dwindle until eventually they disappeared altogether. Since I first heard the story of the blue and crimson Oni as a kid, oh, I've heard it countless times in my life. Not once did I ever imagine that the blue Oni clan had actually survived. So you're saying the real culprit was a descendant of the Blue Oni? That's right. Most people don't pay attention to the color of an Oni's horns. They probably don't even know that Blue Oni exist. But nothing gets by the Artaki gang. At the scene of the crime, they saw an Oni with different color horns than mine. Still, it'd be strange if the culprit really was a descendant of the Blue Oni. I can't bring myself to accept it. Weil der Blaue Oni stolz schätzt. Exactly. They would give up their life before abandoning their pride. I've always respected the Blue Oni for the sacrifice they made. And I know the aspirations my ancestors had for the future of all Oni. Our pride does not allow for any wrongdoing. You don't steal from other people. You don't harm other people, period. My guess is that the Blue Oni was tricked or forced into it somehow. But I don't have any evidence. Du willst also Zeit gewinnen. That's right. If I didn't step in, the Tenryo Commission would have definitely caught them by now. But what does Daisuke have to do with any of this? He said that you saved him so he knows your story, right? He was the one I managed to save from the Ronin after I sent them running from the scene. He was off playing somewhere when they came by and ransacked his house. By the time he came back, his parents had been taken. The whole reason I'm in this is to help this kid find his mom and dad again. Das hättest du gleich zu Beginn sagen sollen. I never wanted to tell you any of this. <laughs> my original plan was to knock you both out and take my family to hide somewhere else. There's more to this than just one blue oni. There's a dangerous group behind everything that's been going on. I didn't want to get anyone else caught up in this mess. That's everything. The whole story. If you don't believe me and want to drag me back to Inazuma City, then I'm going to fight you with all I've got. But you're willing to believe me, then please, give me a little time. Once I find the Blue Oni, I'll turn the both of us in. Nun, ich werde helfen. Yep, Paimon too! Die Bösen dürfen nicht entkommen, oder? Und die Guten sollen nicht für die Taten bestraft werden, die sie nicht begangen haben. Das Zweite macht sogar mehr Sinn. Just treat it like we're here to keep an eye on you. So, you... <laughs> All right. I knew you'd be reasonable. I, I knew it. I was thinking right from the start. These two fine folks, they're just out here in the pursuit of truth and justice, man. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna get along just great. Well, I should tell you, though, things could get a little dangerous, so uh, be ready for anything. <laughs> uh, don't say that I didn't warn you. <laughs> don't worry about us. We're seasoned adventurers. All right, then our first job is to investigate where this blue Oni is hiding out. There's a victim of his that saw him up close, currently taking refuge at Songonomiya's camp. I figure we can start by talking to him. Aha, okay. Also, es könnte interessant werden. Äh, wo müssten wir hin? Songonomiya, sagte er. Äh, Moment mal. Wieso wird mir... Ach so, hier ist der Marker. Fujitu-Festung. Werden wir wieder auf Goro treffen? Hatten wir nämlich letztens. Genau, hier hatten wir doch das Team. Ach, das ist auch schon 200 Folgen entfernt ungefähr. 
Gut, ich teleportiere mich mal kurz hier oben hin. Haben wir auf jeden Fall jetzt viel Neues erfahren. Also gut, ich schätze mal, das schaffen wir nicht mehr in dieser Episode. Deswegen empfehle ich euch ein Abo dazulassen. Denn dann wisst ihr, was in der nächsten Folge passieren wird. Ihr werdet nichts verpassen oder ähnliches. Und ich supporte mich auch aktiv so am besten hier auf YouTube. Ähm, folgt mir auf meine Social Media Kanäle, die ich ebenfalls verlinkt habe. Denn dort poste ich Sachen von anderen Spielen. Ansonsten Like, Dislike, kommentiert meine Videos, Fragen, Anmerkungen, was auch immer. Ich versuche es in der Regel zu beantworten und würde mal sagen, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao, ciao.